Old newspapers contain a wealth of information on a variety of subjects. The New York Times is one of the most well-respected newspapers in the United States and has been published since 1851. It is the third largest newspaper in the nation, meaning that it has more readers than all other newspapers, with the exceptions of the Wall Street Journal and USA Today. It is a great research tool for any history class, but will also provide information on a variety of other topics for other classes. A student assigned a paper on AIDS may want to give some background information in the introduction of the paper. In ProQuest Historical Newspapers, the New York Times, the student can find information such as when the nation became aware of AIDS and early treatments for AIDS. Because the New York Times has an international readership, a student will also find information on the global news for AIDS. The basic search is a simple search, but the advanced search gives the researcher more options. A hint for future searching. More options are always better as options allow the researcher to refine the search for what is really needed. Because the word AIDS has different meanings, I will spell out the full name of the disease in my search. For any phrase searching, the phrase should be put in quotation marks. Quotation marks indicate to the database that I want to find these specific words in this specific order without any other words between. Although acquired immunodeficiency syndrome is now the accepted term for this disease, before that it was referred to as acquired immune deficiency syndrome. To find the earliest articles, I need to use this phrase instead. I want to look at the oldest articles, so I will change the sorting from relevance to publication date oldest first and click sort. We find that the first article in the New York Times with the term acquired immune deficiency syndrome appeared on August 8th of 1982. By just scanning the titles of the articles, we learn about the public reaction to AIDS in the early 1980s. Notice that all of these articles have a PDF option. This database is all full text, meaning that for each article citation you find, the full text of the article is attached. Let's go back to the advanced search and clear the search for acquired immune deficiency syndrome. Another way to look for articles is by date. If a student is writing a paper on the Kennedy assassination, she might look up articles published on the day after Kennedy was shot or a student might be assigned to look up what was happening on the day he was born. Choosing the search on this date, I'll enter my mother's birth date to see what was happening on that day. Notice that there are nearly 500 article citations that match this publication date. Because I am interested in the top stories of the day, I want to limit my findings to just articles on the front page of the newspaper. On the right hand side of the screen, there is a way to narrow the search to a specific document type. When I look at all the options, I find that I can limit to front page articles. Now the results I need to review are fewer than 15. By using the options to limit my search, I've saved myself quite a bit of time that it would have taken to look through nearly 500 articles. By reading the headlines of the first few articles, I find that a major worry of the day was communism, from red plotters in the United States to red regimes in Czechoslovakia. Again, to read the entire article, all I need to do is click on the PDF button. In 1995, Timothy McVeigh became infamous with the Oklahoma City bombing. With one last search, we'll search for early articles on Timothy McVeigh. Again, I want to look at the oldest articles first. The first article is from 1891. As I scroll through, I find many articles from before 1995. The database is picking up on other stories, such as obituaries, with the name Timothy and the name McVeigh. I do not want to put quotation marks around the name Timothy McVeigh, as the news sometimes identified him as Timothy James McVeigh, or just Tim McVeigh. Instead, I want to go back to the advanced search, and this time I will limit my search to just articles where the words Timothy and McVeigh appear in the title of the article. Now I find what I'm looking for. Remember that ProQuest Historical Newspapers, The New York Times, 
can be used for a variety of reasons in your academic research.